everybody, it's Chloe and today I'm going to be answering a very, very, very commonly asked question. We have answered this briefly in other videos before but we do keep getting asked so I thought the best way to answer would be by making a video on it so that people can find it more easily. And this is going to be about why we don't talk about our child alters, our littles. So in case you don't know, littles are alters that are young, they're children, so maybe around under the age of 10. If you do have trouble understanding or just don't know yet what all the different terms are for dissociative identity disorder, so for example things like littles and host and persecutors, things like that, we do have a video on all the terminology for DID which you can find up here. So the first thing that needs to be understood when it comes to little alters is that they are children. So they think like children, they act like children, and many of them have been through very, very severe trauma. So, <laughs> um, sorry, I'm dissociating a little bit. Uh, basically, um, obviously, as with with any children, you would want to keep them safe on the internet, right? So um, we we kind of want to keep what's left of their childhood safe. We want to keep them protected. We don't want them exposed to the internet um, or, or anything that's beyond our control. Hello everybody, this is Jade. If you have not met me before, I did make a video, a Meet the Alters video explaining who I am and how I feel about YouTube in general. So if you're interested in that, then I'm sure you'll be able to find it on your own. When it comes to the littles, some of you may feel we are being overprotective. These children are generally split into two different types of littles, at least in our experience. Those two types are littles who have no trauma and they embody the childhood that we wished we had so they are carefree, as children should be. They are joyful and trusting and happy. And I can speak for the rest of the system as well as myself when I say that I will do anything to keep them safe. If you've seen my video before, you will know that I am not easily one to give trust over to people that I do not know. As much as I appreciate all the very nice comments that were left on that video, I'm still very, very aware of what goes on behind closed doors in the real world. The other type of little alter is a little who has trauma memory. I will not go into detail on that. Children, as I'm sure you all know, are very easily frightened, very easily persuaded, very trusting and very easily manipulated, especially if they have already experienced those things before. Children who have been abused are likely to slip back into that place of fear and acceptance and surrender. Anybody could find us on the internet. We don't share their names 
because even a name can be powerful. If somebody spoke to a child on the internet and said, I know your name, I know where you live, you have to do this. Even things like their favourite colour, their favourite animal, a person could convince a child that they know everything about them. Obviously for a child that may be overwhelming. They do not have the same thought processes as an adult would. They cannot think, hold on, how did he get this information and why should I believe him? They think this is a man or a woman or this is a person who will hurt me. And especially if they have already been hurt before, they will know that it is safest to do as they say. It is not unusual for abusers to target littles in DID systems on the internet. I've seen it happen myself. We will not be disclosing any personal information. I believe we have disclosed two names of two of our littles, which is too late to take back now. We will not be disclosing any further information on any of our littles for our safety as a system and for the safety of our children. I do believe that many of you are very naive about the kinds of things that can happen in this world, especially to children. Many of you believed when I did my video that I was talking <laughs> about hate comments when I said that it was dangerous for us to come forward about the ID. That's not what I meant. And while we are doing this, we want to keep some form of privacy and independence, especially when it comes to our littles. We need them to have the childhood that we didn't have. They will be safe. So I ask you to respect our choice not to share personal information about our littles. When it comes, when it comes to our system and our littles, we will do everything it takes to keep them safe. So, I hope that this answers your questions. I hope that you can appreciate that talking about our littles personally is a very big red line for us that will not be crossed under any circumstances. Do feel free to ask questions about littles in general. As I said, we will keep it as an educational topic for discussion, but when it comes to our personal safety, we will not be going into detail. So, thank you so much as always for watching, and I do hope that this has put your minds at ease somewhat in terms of why we are protective of our littles. I very much enjoyed filming for you again today so I hope that you all have a very nice evening and I guess we will see you in the next video. Goodbye everybody.